do you know hyperpigmentation is most common in the indian skin type i am going to talk about the various type of pigmentation in this video hi i am dr nidja s telogi a consultant dermatologist at glow skin hair laser clinic located in the andheri west mumbai let's talk about pigmentation pigmentation is when certain areas of the skin turns darker than the rest it can appear in the form of small patches or larger areas it's because of the skin produces excess melanin to know more about melanin we have to know about the anatomy of the skin skin is made uh, divided into epidermis and dermis in the basal layer of the epidermis melanocytes are dispersed in the ratio of 1 is to 36 keratinocytes the melanocytes are dendritic cells they have a dendrites and it is spread among the keratinocytes in the melanocytes the melanosomes are are the organelles which produces melanin the number of melanocyte vary in different body sites but the number is constant in all races the difference in the racial pigmentation is due to melanosomes which produces melanin these melanosomes in the keratinocytes forms photoprotective cap photoprotective cap means it protects the cells out the keratinocytes of the epidermis of the skin from getting damage from the sun and also it protects from the cancer melanosomes in darker skins are numerous larger and denser melanin pigmentation is genetically determined in dark skin you see a more melanin compared to the light skin now coming to the types of pigmentation there are two types of pigmentation hypopigmentation and hyperpigmentation in hypopigmentation the melanosomes are not transferred to the surrounding keratinocytes so there are no melanin in the surrounding keratinocytes no pigmentation no color in hyperpigmentation more of melanosomes are transferred to the surrounding keratinocytes and that gives a pigmentation now coming to the freckles which is a type of hyperpigmentation freckles are small circumscribed less than 5 mm in diameter pale brown in color which is primarily seen on the sun exposed areas of the face in genetically predisposed individual by exposing to the sun uv radiation the melanin pigment increases freckles usually first appear in a fair complexion children around the age group of 3 to 5 years it appears as small multiple symmetrical on the face sometimes the chest and the shoulder and back where the sun exposes in freckles we see a seasonal variation and immediate pigmentation seasonal variation in summer we see a freckles are more in number size and the pigmentation during winter it becomes a scanty small and lighter in color another most common hyperpigmented condition is melasma Melasma is an acquired pigmentary disorder most commonly affects the female than males it is symmetrically distributed on the sun exposed areas of the forehead nose cheeks and upper lip most common causes of hyperpigmentation are sun exposure genetic predisposition certain drugs like phenytoin toxic ingredients in the cosmetics hormonal imbalance treatment options for hyperpigmented conditions are first and foremost avoid sun exposure by regular applying sunscreen every 3 hourly second certain creams like hydroquinone 2 to 4% tretinoin azelaic acid alpha arbutin serums and certain peels you can try like glycolic acid peel salicylic acid peels and uh, q switched lasers like q switched india lasers you can try I hope this video was informative. If you have any queries, write down to us. Please like and share the video, subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for further notification. Thank you.